Baby, when I tell you, you got to be careful who you give your kids to. Baby, you got to be careful who you give your kids to. So this is the Zariah Robinson story. Now, this story is all over the place. Got a lot of twists and turns. We're starting in 2023, but a lot of this happened. No, we're starting in 2024, but a lot of this happened in 2023. Now, it started with this mother... Zaja Robinson making a Facebook post March 15th telling her five year old that was turning six on that day happy birthday. She was sad because uh, Zariah was not with her. Zariah was with her godmother and she don't miss birthdays and you know so on and so forth. So after Zaja makes this post on Facebook telling Zariah happy birthday the next day she finds out that her baby ain't even breathing no more so now they should like WTF like the what the when the where the why the how you know what I'm saying so now this is why this story is starting to take off because let's go back to 2023 back in 2023 during the summertime Zaysha had fell on a hardship and she had people stepping up to help her with her kids. And on the behalf of Zariah, the godmother, or Jenquisha Galloway, but I'm just going to refer to her as the godmother because I don't want to butcher that lady name, had stepped up on the behalf of Zariah. Now, the godmother and uh, Zaysha had agreed that Zariah can go stay with the godmother until she got back on her feet. So now school's approaching. So Zariah has to go to school because usually five-year-olds start kindergarten, you know. Um, so now Zariah has to go to school. So the guy mama like, hey, look, I need some custody. I need some, some guardianship. Can I get temporary custody of Zariah? Zaysha was cool with that. She went to the court. She you know, signed off for the godmother to get temporary custody of Zariah and everything, so on and so forth. Now, it's a lot to that for the reasons why I was thinking it was because, she, you know, to put them in school, take them to the doctor, you got to have some type of guardianship or permission. But there is something about housing and stuff. She needed a voucher or something like that. I don't know how that works, but... It's just a lot of shystiness going on, even starting back trying to get the godmother some custody of Zariah. And then it's crazy because out of everybody that was helping her with her kids, the godmother only wanted to even propose such weirdness. So anyway, so after the custody was given, now mind you, Zariah has been with the godmother over the summer. Now we're rolling up till like August, September, depending on where you stay, depending on when school start. So... Then you got October go by. So all up until this point, the godmother is being communicative with Zaysha. Uh Zaysha has talked to Zariah. You know, the godmother sending pictures to Zaysha, Zaysha's mom, Zaysha's sister, you know, so on and so forth. Everybody's knowing what's going on with Zariah. But here comes November. Things start to decline as far as the communication with Zariah and the guy mama. She's calling, she's texting, um, she's not able to get in touch with Zariah. Now, Zaysha had gave Zariah a cell phone when she initially went to stay with the guy mama. So Zaysha not only, you know, would call the guy mama to do a check in and receive information about Zariah, she could also call Zariah's phone and, you know, talk to her or play games, whatever they was doing on the phone. You know what I'm saying? So she also had her own personal phone, which now the mother can't get through on either. So now in November, the mother is asking like, hey, can I get my baby? What's going on with the phone? How come I haven't heard from y'all? Where's Zariah? You know, just typical motherly questions. So in return, the godmother is giving her straight BS and um, telling her things like, oh, they in traffic or 
she'll call you out the wild or we went here we went there we're doing this like whatever have you but still not giving Zariah a chance to communicate with Zaysha now after you know all this goes on Zaysha goes back to the court in 2024 and you know that's when she realized that some kind of way the godmother then got full custody, all kind of foolishness. So she's trying to figure out how to get her baby back because starting in November, the godmama had got a little shysty with her and she has not talked to or seen her daughter. Okay. So she also had asked, you know, about like well, what's wrong with Zariah's phone, the girls giving her lies. All all four months up from November to March, the girl <coughs> is pretty much telling her that, you know, we's and they's and us is, you know, including Zariah making um, Zasia feel like Zariah is still breathing, right? So as I said before, Zasia did not find out that her child was not breathing until around March 16th. Her child stopped breathing November 16th of 2023. The godmother not only hid the stop breathing of the child, she even had the child cremated. Now you're wondering like why? Because that that body would have been evidence if these allegations come back to be true now it was allegations that was also given to Zasia about one of the kids that the godmother is fostering because as I um found out and said that the godmother did not have any biological kids to my knowledge and understanding so she was like a foster mom it's like she hoarded hoarding other people's children so one of those kids is a boy. He's a teenager and he had caused some charges, some essay charges, and he was charged. He was set a $25,000 bond, but was released to the godmother on a signature bond. Now, not only does the godmama have that going on that she's hiding from Zaysha, she's also hiding the fact that she herself had been in some trouble pertaining a child or like distributing to a child, something about a child. But anyway, she had some child cases from like 2018, 2019, something like that. Okay. On top of that, the godmother was giving Zaysha fake numbers, fake addresses, telling her that she's moved, this, that, and the other. And for the longest time up until November, she was still in the same town. Around November, that's when she's supposed to be moving. She told Zaysha that she was moved to Florida, but when Zaysha went to the courts, the courts gave her Arizona address. She then called Arizona um, law enforcement and had them to go do a wellness check, and they come back and reported that everything was fine. Mind you, this is in 2024. That baby stopped breathing in 2023. So what child did they go and see, you know what I'm saying? Like how, like we going to get into the details in the next one. I just want y'all to know what's going on. So Zaysha is going through all of this. And at this point, Zaysha is just saying like, Hey, God, mama, I just want Zariah's ashes. Like, just give me Zariah's ashes. So at this point, we're, we we just asking for justice for Zariah, justice for Zaysha. Bring Zariah Ashes back home so this mother can get some closure. And as this story unravels, we will continue to discuss it. I will talk in the because I don't want these videos to be so long. I want y'all sitting here for like hours because this this case is is yeah is one of those so in the next video we're gonna talk about some of the details and kind of like keen in on specific things and just try to dissect them bit by bit as to what makes sense and what doesn't and what has been 
proven and what hasn't because I'm really just going off of a lot of the proof that the mother has put up because the god mama put up stuff and she take it down as soon as it be questioned and she see the inconsistencies in her story she'll go and remove it i can't get to the god mama's page because she got it set up and we're not friends so i'm just relying on someone that is friends with her to get this stuff to me y'all want to get in contact with me um don't try to email me because I don't check those often. Hit me up on Money Stacks TV and I will check those inboxes and get to that. So if you got anything coming from the God Mama, send it to your girl. Cause I I, I don't want I don't want a one sided story. I, I want to hear the mom's side, but I also want to hear the God Mom side as well. So in the next videos, we'll talk about some of these details and I will also post the live up from facebook of the mother and we're going to talk about you know some of the stuff that she said as well so y'all make sure that this is one y'all get down in the comments so we could talk about it. like i said if y'all want to send me anything pertaining to this case or another case y'all want me to um talk about send it to my facebook money stacks tv that is me y'all will see me when i had my bald head hosh going on I got that fade cut on there. Y'all know it's me. So I'll see y'all down in the comments. And I'm going to stop this video right here. So it don't be so long. We're going to pick up what we left off in the next part. In the next part to come after that. But this your girl Money Stacks signing out. Smooches. Peace.